require masks at his rallies, considering we've seen the public health outcomes that come from it, and whether that that or other changes are something um, that he might look at going well, forward. The president's been operating in accordance with CDC guidelines recommended but not required. But as he said recently, if he weren't tested every day and he was in a situation where he couldn't distance, he would wear masks. We hand them out. Uh, they're handed out by the campaign, rather, at these events. Um, and there's ample hand sanitizer. And it's people's individual choice as to whether to, to go. Do you have a response to the Health Director sort of I would just. I would just say um, that I, I have no data to indicate that on my end, but it's the decision of individuals whether to go. We encourage the wearing of masks. As the president said, if he couldn't distance, he would, but it's the individual choice of the person. Go ahead. Why weren't President Biden and all members of the Biden family masked at all times on federal lands last night if he signed an executive order that mandates masks on federal lands at all times? At the inaugural at the uh, memorial, yes. I, I think, Steve, he was celebrating uh, an evening uh, of a historic day in our country. And certainly he signed the mask mandate because it's a way to send a message to the American public about the importance of uh, wearing masks, how it can save tens of thousands of lives. We take a number of COVID precautions, as you know here, in terms of testing, social distancing, mask wearing ourselves, as, as we do every single day. But I don't know that I have more for you on it than that. But as uh, Joe Biden often talks about, uh, it is not just important the uh, example of power, but the power of our example. Was that a good example for people who are watching who might not pay attention? Uh, normally. Well, Steve, I think uh, the power of his example is also uh, the message he sends by si signing 25 executive orders, including uh, almost half of them related to COVID. Uh, the requirements that we're all under every single day here to ensure we're sending that message to the public. Yesterday was a historic moment in our history. He was inaugurated as president of the United States. He was surrounded by his family. We take a number of precautions, but I don't think, I think we have big, bigger issues to, to worry about at this moment in time.